All right, so for this hinge pattern, what we're gonna do is have the feet turned in a little bit, just so the big toes can press. And he's seated kind of close to the edge of the bench right here. All right, so that's step one. Step two, you can see how his arms cross, and they're crossed in a specific pattern, one arm over the other. Each set you do, you can change your arm positioning. So make sure you change your arm positioning. Now with the arms, he's pulling apart. So the, the top arm, the right arm is pulling that elbow, and the bottom arm is pulling that elbow apart, like trying to rip it apart. He's gonna feel his upper back and his lats fire as a result. Now from here, what he's gonna practice is gonna to begin to push down through his feet. So his feet have to drive down to the ground really hard, and the first thing he's gonna do with his arms, as he keeps pulling the arms apart, he's gonna to begin to lift the arms overhead so that he can extend his spine. So you're gonna see his spine extend. And we want that lower back to really work. So I want him to almost hyperextend his lower back and lift the arms up as he keeps pulling apart. Now his feet are pushing down to the floor as if he's about to stand up, but he's not. Now he's gonna to begin to fold over and he's gonna stop if he feels like he's losing the tension in his lower back. So he wants to make sure he feels that lower back tension. To keep the lower back tension, he wants to push down through his feet harder. He wants to drive his tailbone to the ceiling and he wants to keep extending through his upper back. So he wants to keep lifting those arms up overhead. Now he's gonna keep folding like a counterbalance, driving through his feet strong until his hips naturally want to come up off the bench. He's gonna hold this. Now, he wants to keep reaching those arms overhead more and more and more and more. He wants to keep extending his lower back and reaching his tailbone to the sky. And with his feet, he's pushing to the floor with his feet and driving his hips back behind him. So naturally, as his hips push back, his knees should begin to, to drive back too. His knees are gonna extend back as he holds this position. Now, while he gets here, he wants to extend his lower back even more, extend that lower back even harder and harder there, and reach the arms up even more as he keeps pulling apart. We're gonna hold this beautiful hinge for time, whatever time coach puts there on the bottom. He's gonna keep holding this, gonna keep holding this for time. You can see his quads are on, his feet are on. His shins are gonna fire up, his upper back is on, his lower back is on. Everything is on fire in this movement. He wants to keep breathing in through his nose, expanding his ribs, keep reaching the arms overhead. Keep extending your spine, keep pushing through your foot, both feet as hard as possible. Now he's getting tired. He's gonna come back down to the bench with control and rest. He's gonna rest for a second. Now, only if you can come up a few inches, that is okay. Now, Joe got up pretty high, so if you can only come up a few inches, that's totally fine. So he's gonna shake it out. He's gonna breathe. He's going to change his arm position here for the second set. We're just gonna show you something here. So, say for example, he pulls apart here, okay? He pushes down through his feet as if he's gonna stand right now. He's gonna pull the arms apart as he reaches the arm overhead but arms overhead rather. As he does this, as he drives through his feet, he's going to really extend his spine, we know this. Now I know Joe can come off a decent amount, but say Joe can only come off the bench a few inches, so come off a few inches, he's gonna stay here a few inches and just practice, trying to lift his arms overhead, extend his lower back even more. So I want more arch in his lower back. There, now he's got it. He's gonna keep fighting for that arch more and more and more. And that's what we're after here, fighting for the arch, reaching the arms overhead more and more and more, but the push through his feet have to, have to really happen here. He can just hold the hover, drive through his feet, lift through the arms, and then extend through his lower back. That's what's really important about this pattern. And come on back down, Joe, perfect. All right, so for this movement, you watch Joe do in the first part. Here's some nuances in the second part of the video. When you set up, you wanna get pretty close to the front edge of your bench. Now, I'm gonna get close, but not all the way to the edge. I wanna make sure my feet are in a good place to where I can get force production. So if your feet are too far back and you can't push hard enough, then you might wanna walk your feet a little further out. So it takes some experimentation. So I'm gonna get somewhere in the middle for me. And then what I'm gonna do is turn my feet in a tad bit. So I don't wanna have it turned out. I wanna turn it in just enough to where if I start pushing through my feet, I can feel my big toes push to the floor. So I'm gonna get that cue. Now, first step, push down. 
So I can feel both sides pushing, and, and right now I should begin to feel my hips, hip flexors, groin, some glute, some shin. I'm gonna cross my hands, hand over hand. Each set I do, I just change my hand position. Okay, so I'm gonna go hand over elbow, rather. I'm gonna pull these arms apart to set my shoulders. The more I push through my feet, the more I pull and reach my arms up overhead. And as I get my extension first, nice and tall, I'm gonna push through my feet harder, as if I'm gonna stand up, but I'm not. I'm gonna keep extending my spine and my lower back. I'm, I want to arch that lower back and hyperextend it as if I'm doing a, a cow position in yoga. And the more I extend my spine and push through my feet, the more I'm gonna hinge over. And as I keep hinging, I'm gonna keep pushing and then extending my spine until I naturally counterbalance off the bench. Keep pushing through the feet, keep lifting the arms, arms up, arms up, extend the back, breathe. I just want to hold for time right there. Okay, super tiring, super exhausting. If you do it right, it's hip flexors, a lot, a lot of low back, upper back, abs, glutes, hamstrings, quads, shins, everything's on fire. <laughs>